Welcome back to the Tiger Commander. This is Mike. I'm coming at you with another video. This time I want to talk to you about the SH Figuarts knockoff figure of the Jedi Knight Luke. And I am someone who usually loves knockoffs. Uh, I don't have a problem with it, you know, unethically that they're ripping it off and all that stuff. And so I embrace knockoffs and I've gotten a couple of Star Wars knockoffs and I was happy with them. This thing here is a piece of garbage. Now I had a friend that warned me, so we're gonna get into this, but uh, right up front, I'm gonna tell you, it sucks. But let's look at the box real quick. So here is the box, the packaging. It looks all right. You know, I mean, it looks spot on to the SH Figuarts. Hey, great, you know, maybe, maybe some people can even pass these off as official. Now, I don't, actually don't even know, I should go back and check, but when I saw the price of it for like $13.99 or something, I knew it was a KO. I, I don't even know if the listing said it was a KO, but when the price is that low on something like this, coming out of, why well, I ordered this from China, then you know it's a knockoff, so you know to expect probably not the highest quality. But still, I didn't think it'd be this bad. Anyway, uh, the accessory. There's a Darth Vader head I cannot use. There's a Luke head, and then some hands, which I won't be able to use. Here's the Darth Vader head. It actually looks good. I mean, it's painted relatively well. I don't have the SH Figuarts Darth Vader, and this won't fit on one of my Black Series Vaders. But aside from that, it does look good. Here is the alternate head, and with the alternate head, with all of these, the, the hair doesn't want to stay on right. Now this one, you can just put some pressure on it, and then it kind of stays on okay. And the head sculpt's all right. It's just, it's not great. You can kind of see where the hair is. I don't know. I'm not sure why they just didn't mold it all. But, I mean, it's a SH Figuarts thing more than the KO thing. And you've got different closed and open hands. So you have this and this, this hand in both colors. And then you have this hand in both colors. But the problem is, this is like a fist. Uh, if I can get that just right. And you also have the holding, like hold, lightsaber holding hands. So, the next thing I want to say, those hands are swappable, but the little peg that it had clips onto broke off. So this whole arm is electrical taped back together to hold that hand on. And it, it holds on okay, but there's not going to be any articulation in it. Uh, that's that fix. My son broke it, because this is my son's figure, by the way. He broke it. And, and then this arm, I was even posing it to prepare for this video, and the arm broke on me. And I gotta say, I'm pretty delicate with my stuff. I'm not rough, I don't manhandle it, and there it is, it broke on me. Before we get into the other issues with this figure and the horrible QC in it, this lightsaber is cool though, I like it. Because, and it's a, it's, a, it's a scary feature, it's a little feature, it's scary. You pop this little piece here off, and then you pop on the blade. Now the blade actually has the tip of the saber that we just popped off in it so that it looks authentic in both modes. Now I didn't even know that because I, mean, I don't mess with the SH Fig Wars because they're so expensive, but this is pretty cool. I kind of like that. And so you can actually put that lightsaber in his hand and it works in a way, but I mean, you can, you can get some poses still with it all gimpy and messed up, but that's just not, that's not the way it's supposed to be. This thing has really disappointed me. But the lightsaber piece is cool, and my son was like, well, at least I got a lightsaber out of it. Now, looking at him, uh, I don't want to move him too much. I don't know what's going to break. The, he has some decent articulation, and he feels kind of solid with some... It feels like there's ratchets in here. I don't know what the clicking is. It's got to be ratchets, right, in the waist. Uh, you can clip on his lightsaber on here like I had it before. and uh, But I'm just afraid to move too much because I feel like the next thing's going to snap. Uh, what else is going to break on him? What else is going to snap? And I struggle to pose him and get him to stand. That, uh, of course, it stands easy there. The next thing is his, his hair. I had to really work to modify that to get it to stay in. And I did watch a review on this right before I ordered it. And... 
the guy basically lubed every joint, and maybe I should have lubed every joint, and, and uh, it wouldn't have snapped, but I just can't imagine that you would need to lubricate an action figure just so it doesn't break on you. Uh, I don't know, we've had, we have a hundred, more than a hundred Black Series figures, and none of them have snapped like this. Uh, I think Cannon's arm falls off, but you can pop it right back on. But yeah, very disappointing. Let's look at the back of this guy. Now, I do want to say, if you can get him posed, he presents very well. He looks good. He looks the part, after modifying the hair, doing a whole bunch of stuff, he looks pretty good. But, I don't know, let's, let's do some comparisons to other uh, figures and, and other versions. So here he is next to, now this is also a KO of Luke Jedi. And I, I didn't think this KO was bad, but I, I was like, the head sculpt is horrible. Um, there's, there's, there's just some issues with him. He's got a bad head sculpt. He's got, um, just, I, he looks kind of funny, but in the end, um, you know, he's okay, I guess. But, but this guy looks a lot better, I think. You know, I think that, that this KO one looks better than this KO one, and this KO one looks a lot like the original. I mean, not exactly, but he looks okay. All right, so let's look at the back of them. Uh, I gotta tell you, if, if they re-release the Jedi Luke uh, Black Series, you know, I'm definitely getting my son one, because he deserves it after messing with all this garbage. And the SH Fig Wars KO is smaller than the, the one of the Black Series version. and. You know, that's kind of what I've been hearing. The SH figures are smaller. I don't really mess with them that much. So this is like the first, my real first dealings. And I have to say that I know the negatives of the KO market are, hey, you get it, it's bad quality. Then you assume SH figures has bad quality. And I know that's not the case. I know SH figures has much better quality than this thing. Real quick, talking about if Hasbro re-releases, I think Hasbro should completely redo their Jedi loop. Like, I don't know if this, is like the original which i kind of passed on in stores back in the day and now my son really wanted one so i got him one but if that's the case they should just completely redo it like make a better one there have been a lot of great black series figures and i don't i've seen pictures and i just don't think it's that great either next up there's a seven dollar uh dollar general version and he scales well scales about the same as this guy and he looks good, he has no articulation, and that's the problem with this one. No articulation, and so that, that's kind of sucky. But, I think he looks okay. And of course, this is, this is a modified hand and lightsaber and stuff, that's for something else. But, this was our first attempt to get my son a uh, Jedi Luke, and he likes to pose his and crazy poses and stuff, so this doesn't work for him. But, I'm gonna say that the $7 figure <laughs> Is, is actually one of the best looking ones out of our little collection of Jedi Luke's we have. Here he is next to some other Black Series Luke options, and I, I think the height is fine. I mean, I heard he was kind of small, but uh, compared to these options, he scales well. Here he is next to a couple of Boba Fett's, and this is the Elite, which I am a huge fan of the Elite Series. I prefer that to the Black Series. Uh, they're not disposable, but I think they look better and feel better. And then this is the Black Series one, and this like that looks like a collectible. That looks like a toy, in my opinion. But anyway, uh, he's you know a little bit smaller than Boba Fett, and I can live with that. And here he is next to the Black Series Han, and on the right we have the Elite uh, C-3PO, which I like. The Elite C-3PO. But uh, all, all fits together okay. Uh, C-3PO might be a little bit big, but I think droids need to be made of metal, not plastic. Anyway, that looks good. So anyway, the bottom line is that if you have friends that tell you to stay away from it, uh, then you know you should have stayed away from it. But uh, my friend also said that you're too used to Transformer knockoffs, and KO Transformers have come a long way. KO Transformers are for the most part, as good if not better than the originals in some cases. That is not the case here. Do not buy this thing. I'm not even gonna link it down below, and I was planning to, if it was a good figure. 
Anyway, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Tadir, hang around.